Well, it's a wet welcome to the swamps north of Pensacola. This has been more than half of my experience in the Florida Panhandle. They get a lot of weather up here. I mean, this is like almost comparable to Oregon, except uh, there's alligators, you know, it's like, I, I'm not a fan of the Florida Panhandle, but the beaches are, are unbelievable. The beaches are beautiful. But um, I have never seen a forest flood. There's flooding all over the forest here. But it definitely makes for uh, a, cozy, a, a cozy warm time in the RV working or uh, you know maybe watching a, a TV show or something. That sign up there says seven inches. I am so scared to pull my freaking trailer through that. Oh my goodness, here we go. Good Lord. Goodbye, Panhandle. Man, check out this crappy spot. It was very tight to get in here. It's pretty, it's right on the water. But look at that, it's kind of crazy getting in. It's all steep. I gotta back up on the hill. Well, I got positioned in a way that I could safely hook up when leaving and then pull out without being on a steep hill. But now, this place just sucks. When I turn this on, it sounds terrible. That's not good. Certainly a pretty view out on the patio. Well, we are getting the heck out of here. And before I get excited, I had to turn on my generator to get my slide in because my battery's pretty much dead in the fifth wheel. But I'm out of propane and I just went to turn on my jacks to raise it up so I could hitch up. And uh, it's like making a funny sound. I just want to get the hell out of here. So I'm, I'm gonna try to see if I can back up with my hitch a little bit lower than would be ideal. It's too high, but it, when I unhitched from it, I could, you know, it was pushing the truck down, I could squeeze out, but I can't push back in. And this is the sound I get, this is not good. Hopefully this is just because I have no power. All right. Here we go. Oh my God, that is not good. <sighs> All right, I ended up just plugging into the really crappy electric that my surge protector does not trust, but just for a few minutes to get my jacks up. Thankfully, that sound was just because of a low battery. Man, 
I like to always be positive, but I'm so ready to get out of here. I even cut myself. It's freaking steamy and hot. My, my glasses are steaming up, and I am just feeling... Uh, I don't know what the word is, but now I'm, I'm going to take forever to, to get the H out of here. Crappy spot. You know what? I'm going to do a year-end review and and make this one of my worst RV spots. I feel like I'm in a mud pit. Gosh darn it, man. i going to use half my gas tank just to get the heck out of this stupid site. Now I gotta watch out for that. I got out of there. I had to screw up my tire to get out. All right, just gotta watch out for that. Good God, this cursed park. I can't even make the tight turn. I have to back up to get around the corner here. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't wait to get the heck out of this place. Now I am happy as can be to be the heck out of that place. I gotta fill up on some DEF now. I've said it before and I need to remember that I should always have propane on hand and uh, pretty much my battery in the fifth wheel is ridiculous it, it serves no purpose right now except a, an extra weight so I need to always have propane and the other good thing that I always like to have at least a little bit of is water in my fresh tank so those are some things that I'm always trying to keep on hand and ready for the, the ride. As for now, I am so ready to get the heck out of the freaking panhandle. Oh my gosh. The Florida panhandle. But uh, headed down to Tampa. Of course, there's a stop. A stop on the way, Bushnell. And normally I don't like to stay just one night like last night, but to get the heck out of that muddy site where I have no power and um, out of the trees and the alligators and the bushes, you know, that's freaky with the dogs. And I'm just, I'm happy to go to the next site and have three days. That gives me plenty of time to work. It's hard sometimes balancing work with travel because on a day of travel, that's a day that I'm not working. So um, it, it can be very frustrating. Sometimes I get so PO'd because I really need to be working and it's travel day and you know, all the, everything's arranged. But uh, just glad to be getting somewhere for uh, a few days after this. And hopefully no crazy sights, you know, I prefer not to park under trees because it gets so many leaves in my the top of my slide outs but we'll see that was pretty crappy stinging on my wrist right now and uh, a new a new day right so you always have to have something crappy so I had it <laughs> we're just passing Panama City headed east on the I-10 and for quite some time now along the highway you can see a bunch of the destruction from Hurricane Michael. Trees just snapped in half. Trees blown over with the whole root ball still intact.
I'm sitting here in traffic on this back road because there's so much traffic on the highway. And I'm just looking at these incredible properties. Very, very Florida looking. Look at that moss and that house. Wow. That's just something to look at. Jeez. Apparently, this is in Ocala or near Ocala, and uh, the town is known for breeding horses. There have just been some really beautiful farms out here. Also beautiful because of the, the trees that are in them. I mean, they're just very unique to me. Maybe if you're from here, it's all boring. But it's very pretty here. Gosh, just look at that. That's what I'm dealing with. Traffic on the side route, because there's so much traffic on the uh, highway. Up here. I guess everybody's taking the same detour.